Now, what about driving uh, your you, or using like your other other platforms to kind of drive your traffic there? Because I know I was talking to um, artists about TikTok and he was just like, well, you know, I don't have a TikTok. So I'm like, OK, well, go ahead and create one. And he was like, well, how do I get people over there? So I'm like, you know, you can get on your Facebook or get on your Instagram or get on these other platforms to try to drive those followers or those fans like back to TikTok, like should they go that route or is it like building your fan base on TikTok is just start you starting to create that content, um, communicate with other TikTokers. I don't know. Like how, how do you go about like really getting people over to that platform so that you can kind of build up? All right. So TikTok isn't heavily built around what your friend group is immediately around you and creating a world around that and mm. perspective around that. That's how most social media is. TikTok is based off the algorithm and your interaction with that. And we show you more of that world. Right. Um, so if you don't like what your TikTok look like, you looking in the mirror kind of, um, <laughs> so like for real, like, I, I remember it was, it was like a church group. They had to advise all their other people cause they wanted to be on there to spread church word, but then also, um, watch the kids and all that stuff, make sure, mm. not in a creepy way, like, right, make sure right. they're not wild, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. And they had to tell people and trains, like, no, I know you don't like what you're seeing or so, some of these kids, but just, if you don't like it, you know, like, start to like the things that you do like what you see, right? And and start to swipe past those. Mm. And the algorithm is super sensitive. The algorithm is more sensitive than most of these other ones when it comes to what it's showing you and reacting to it. That's what your world will look like. Mm. Um, but when it comes to translating an audience over, I wouldn't focus heavily on going Facebook to Instagram and pushing those over to TikTok. I would do TikTok and pushing it to the other ones, right? Mm. Um, because what you'll find is, for one, people translate over to those others from TikTok a lot easier than the other way around. But yes, maybe to get a little bit of like attention on TikTok, it might, it might be nice to do it, um, especially if you are somebody who already has a fan base. But if you don't, it's, that's not, you know, okay, maybe post. Here's my TikTok here. Put it in your IG bio. But I wouldn't even waste any energy on it. I would try to become good at talk, TikTok and get those people to the other platforms. Okay. So I, I also had somebody, and I think you, I'm sure that you have this in your training because we know, y'all don't know, Brandman and Sean has the, the TikTok training. TikTok music secrets training. Right. So it also, I'm guessing, will cover how to even get your music on there. That's free, by the way. Yes. Right. You know, because I, I did have an artist that's like, do, because I know they have different type of ways. So an artist was asking me, like, do I just get on TikTok and basically record myself with my music playing on the background? So I was telling him, like, no, you can actually get your music on the platform, yeah. you know? Um, and a lot of people were still trying to figure out, like, how do you do that? You know, and I'm like, uh, the same way you would get your music, like, on Instagram stories, pretty much, isn't it? Like, um. Kind of, sort of. So, from your district kid history. definitely allows you to do that, right? And there, I think there's another one that got added on recently. I can't remember, but other than that, you can old school it, and all you need is the sound. You don't need the full song because no one's gonna be using the full song, right? You there's a video that Corey did in our TikTok series. This is like back in August 2018. Type brand man TikTok series or something like that. It should start to pop up. Mm -hmm. How to get your music on TikTok and also. I think we have a TikTok playlist at this point, but it's, there's two different ways. You do it officially through there, or you can just upload the sound because any video you record technically becomes a sound. And we're doing this and we post this on TikTok. Now somebody could take, take that, that sound and, and, and then put run, it in their right? video. Right. So you can put your music on in that same way. A lot of times I advise to do it that way. Not going to go into those reasons because we talked a lot about TikTok, but it really ain't necessarily a TikTok episode. I know. We, we, we TikTok just, turned out to be the number one. I so. know, right? Um, it, just, it just is what it is at this point. I'm, I always tell people, I'm not going to create some new secretive, like this is how you do it stuff when it doesn't exist. I'm going to just tell you, look, this is what it is right, right now. And this isn't what it is because I'm predicting the future. This is what it is because this is what's happening. I'm seeing results and behaviorally paying attention to fans and people, not opinions of people will actually get you to the the right place faster than everybody else. Right. It's important to be able to adapt, right. And stay you up to, to date 
of, of what's going on because like every platform might not be here forever. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. it's like somebody is always coming out with something new that can be beneficial to you for multiple reasons, whether it's the, you know, find you a date or, you know, grow your fan base either way. So it's like, we, we literally got to stay up to date and ride the wave, like ghost ride the wave. Gary V said something that I actually like, I super agreed with. I was already kind of thinking that way. So TikTok, Snapchat, all these things, right? All these platforms, all, some of them, they might come and go, mm-hmm. right? For one, if TikTok pops, just like, let's say, uh, Vine. Uh, like Vine, and then it dissolves, that attention doesn't mean that it wasn't worth it. Right. Especially if you flip it. King Batch and so many of the other people who were Vine stars have full careers and millions of Instagram followers were able to translate over there. They're popping and they built off and they're doing everything that they, they want to do because they got a huge audience while it was free and easy on Vine and translated it some, to somewhere else. So you can't say it's not worth it. If you just don't win and you don't win, okay, cool. That's just because you didn't do good on the platform or you didn't take advantage of it while it existed. But the bigger thing is understanding when it comes to marketing, you have again, to we always have- think about the end customer, the end consumer. Because at the end of the day, remember, before Facebook, you, you people were communicating through radio, TV, and all those things, right? Before Instagram, people were communicating through Facebook. And, and what people don't understand about these vehicles of communication is they don't only offer an opportunity to reach people Mm -hmm. and communicate with people. They also create a format in which the users like to be communicated with. Right. So now somebody our age, they can be communicated with a short snippet, a tweet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's cool with us where somebody else of a certain era might be like, bro, I need some more information. It's like, you didn't really say anything. Right. Or, Or, you know, the, the certain banners we're, we're used to the quotes on IG and, and the way that aesthetic, so we can be marketed to in that way. There's a generation who's coming up TikTok first, right? And if yeah. you want to be prepared and over, and over some time, these people will want to be communicated with in that way. Right. That will be their first form of communication. A bigger, clearer um, explanation is text messaging. Yeah. It's like some people, you got a certain class like, bro, don't text me, call me. That's how I am. That's how they like to be talked to. Call me. That's how you market. Have a conversation with me. You know, give me a chance to talk back. Love me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then some people are like, no, just text me. And you can market to them based on those behaviors and understanding. So if you don't take time to at least understand how these platforms work, you're not going to be able to understand how to reach this customer effectively. Right. And that's why it's important to not take your own opinions and, and stubbornness or whatever you got going on, you know, whatever afflictions is going on, the pain, suffering, right. the hating, whatever you got, you got you going on. You can't get it right? about your spirit. And you have to realize it's irrelevant right. because the market is really built on principles and the principles don't give a damn about how you feel. The principles exist regardless of who's using them good or bad, right? We'll see somebody become a dictator off of some principles. We'll see somebody become a president off of some principles. We'll see somebody become Mother Teresa or some martyr off of the same principles, the exact same way of building a fan base, the exact same way of of reaching out to a community.